Eat it. Eat it. Take deep breaths. <laughs> uh, eat it just uh, Breathe more. Breathe more. Get more oxygen. <laughs> Oxygenate your brain. Eat it for lunch. Become a breatharian. Just part time when you're not eating. Just eat air. Yeah, breatharian. <laughs> There's all kinds of breathing techniques. You can do this one where you go, you hold your nostril and you go <laughs> through one side and then out through the other one. If you can breathe clear, you can do that. But most of us only have one nostril open, like at a time. It's weird. Uh, you can do like uh, you can you know hold your. You could just oh you know what you could do you could close your eyes off with your fingers like this and then stick your thumbs in your ears and, and you can hear those breaths really loudly and all the blood rushing in your head. I, you just close off everything just and you get some like little props some stilts for your <laughs> arms and just build a custom chair so you could like go and meditate like that it'd be really good. Just go inside. Just go inside. Like that. But then, but you breathe, just go. <laughs> take the, what's the deepest breath you can do? Like, just just find out. Just see how deep of a breath you can do. count. Try it. Just go. And then hold it there for just as long as it took you to get there. And then, <laughs> just as long. Like, make all those numbers the same doesn't matter if it's four seven twelve whatever just try to try to see how far you can go how deep of a breath you can take let's i don't even know how deep of a breath just go real slow like Whoa, 10 seconds is it for me. Woo. <laughs> so just 10 seconds in, 10 second hold, 10 seconds out, and then and then hold it for another 10 seconds. That would be that would be ideal probably. But damn, that got me high. Who needs drugs? When you got oxygen. They say that when you breathe it through your nose, it like creates another chemical. It does some other things so you can assimilate the oxygen more than if you were to breathe it through your mouth. So stop being a mouth breather and breathe through your nose more. Try it. Let that be your meditation in the morning. Don't stop trying to meditate. Just breathe. <laughs> Just take deep breaths. <sighs> really? Nice. Oh, did you hear my back crack when I did that? Like when you take a deep breath, like straighten your spine up as straight as you can go. And like... And then try to hold it really, really still when you exhale. Another good thing is to like, when you breathe in, push your stomach out. Like try to fill it up with air. As much air as you can when you breathe out. Push it all in so that you're squeezing your spinal fluids up into your brain. So it's like a thing you can do. Like I learned it from Joe Dispenza talks about it. Where you can like pump your spinal fluids and it it's basically like kundalini or whatever so so you're like when you breathe in you push your stomach out and then when you breathe out you push it in so you use your stomach muscles to push it in and then like contract your spine you like squeeze your spine with your muscles while you breathe out and then like imagine all that fluid going up into your head and then like oxygenating your brain and like just fixing everything it, it like activates that parasympathetic nervous system. Is that what it is? It's like the one where you you're not in fight or flight. You're like the other thing. You're like relaxed, and your body heals itself. It's like the opposite of fight or flight. I said I think it's parasympathetic. But yeah, just eat more air. Eat more air. Heal yourself. Eat more air. Do it.